we started off slowly with the girls side um, we've built this thing organically unlike the boys there and, and even our volleyball where we've inherited other programs um, this has been something that we've started from the ground up well, I think the principles we stick to is if you're good enough, they'll find you. Because when you start something like this and you don't have any track record, development is always first. But if you're not good enough, the brand name isn't going to just cut it. You're going to have to go out there and perform. Our gym access at DME is second to none. We have pretty much 24 hour access. If you want to come back after four hours of training during the day and after school, you can come back at eight or 9 p.m. That's why we have as many interns as we do. What we offer outside of just the training is we give each kid as good of an opportunity to get placed to a college program that is a good fit for them, but also something that's realistic to their ability. We play in the SIAA like the boys. We'll go to Miami for Martin Luther King shootout. And we'll also go to Washington, D.C. and play in the Title IX, which um, will be there with probably 150 to 200 college coaches. He's actually built our girls program into something that we're going to be very, very proud of. The reason why DME is perfect for every kid is because the player development aspect. We break down film and we dissect everything here to the smallest detail. However, we also have a very good academic situation that we think is almost futuristic. It's something that most people are going to gravitate to when they see how diverse the courses are. So, you're really spoiled here.